I came from a uh, legislative conference in San Francisco, uh, New Orleans, in uh, February. And one of the things they, they asked us is where, where you're from. And surprisingly, Rhode Island is in the forefront of the opioid crisis as far as legislation, as far as keeping people um, safe. And we have been consistently in the forefront. We've been fortunate in this state that we have uh, Tom Coderre, we got back from the Obama administration, who is a recovering addict, very up, up, very upfront about it. And Tom has been uh, assisting our governor and the General Assembly with legislation to help us get out of this horrific crisis. Unfortunately, the fentanyl crisis has increased. We actually plateaued in the number of opioid deaths in the state. We leveled off, but our fentanyl deaths went up 70 percent. And the fentanyl is primarily coming from China. One thinks you know we have a trade deficit. Our trade deficit with China also increases the fentanyl that's being shipped here by the Chinese. As I said before, and I and because I, I know it well, one of the things we need to do in this state is to take people who have been incarcerated who are coming out clean is to get them on something like Vivitrol. Vivitrol is a drug that actually kills your, your need for any type of substance abuse. But unfortunately, it costs $1,000 a shot. It's good for 30 days, but the drug manufacturer who's making it charges $1,000 a shot. You get one coming out of prison. And the reason I know this is I, I go to the prison uh, frequently to see how their drug programs are working. I've been working with the administration on this. They also need to make sure that people who come out have a job. It all comes back to jobs and having a place to live. We need to make sure that we don't have recidivism. Because if we have, if we have these people coming out clean, they get a job, we can keep them on in society, we can keep them out of prison, we can keep them working, and they become law-abiding tax citizens, tax-paying citizens, rather than being someone who's incarcerated for a drug offense. And I will commend our new Attorney General for his legislation that he's going through both the House and the Senate that would um, eliminate most of the small drug crimes as felonies and make them civil infractions, which my father, God rest his soul, said all, all his life that putting someone in prison for drug use is just criminal. So, our opioid crisis, while it is plateauing in the state, there is much left to be done. And as a General Assembly working with the administration, I think we have a good start, but we have a long way to go.